is Margot Porl for the BC Learning Network talking to you about physical health and well-being. Can you list factors that contribute to physical health and well-being? Can you create goals and strategies to improve your own physical health and well-being? Maybe you can win this award for health and wellness. It's waiting for you. Remember, SMART goals are specific, measurable, action-oriented, relevant, and time-bound. As you watch this video on physical health and wellness, think about goals you could set in this area. What are the factors that contribute to physical health and well-being? Nutrition, enjoyable physical activity and exercise, sufficient sleep, being tobacco-free, and accessing accurate information for new and changing health issues. All of these items will be discussed in this video. A balanced diet means getting the right amounts of all six nutrients, carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, minerals, fats, and water. You can refer to the Canada Food Guide to make sure you are eating a balanced and nutritious diet. Make smart choices. As far as nutrition goes, limit processed junk and unhealthy fast food choices. Foods that are high in salt, fat, and or sugar are not your best choice. For optimum nutrition, make sure you eat a good breakfast. It is the most important meal of the day. It will help you to focus and to avoid eating unhealthy snacks later. Make sure you drink lots of water. For optimum nutrition, keep it simple. Eat a variety of fresh, colorful foods. Dark and brightly colored fruits and vegetables are full of vitamins and minerals. Low-fat dairy products such as milk, cheese, and yogurt are good sources of protein, calcium, and vitamins A and D. Limit processed foods. Foods high in fat, salt, and sugar should only be eaten in moderation. This means not every day. Once a week would be a good target. For nutrition, keep it simple. Put real food on your plate. Think about your own nutrition. Did you have six to seven servings of fruits and vegetables yesterday? Do you start each day with a healthy breakfast? Are you drinking at least eight glasses of water per day? How often have you consumed highly processed junk or unhealthy fast food in the past week? What are some simple changes you can make to improve your nutrition? For physical health and wellness, you also need to consider your physical activity. Seek enjoyable physical activity and exercise. One in five adolescents are overweight. One in 20 are obese. Being overweight or obese can lead to many health problems. So can unsafe dieting. For optimum physical health and wellness, consider these exercise guidelines for youth. For health benefits, youth aged 12 to 17 years should accumulate at least 60 minutes of moderate to vigorous intensity physical activity daily. This should include Vigorous intensity activities at least three days per week. Activities that strengthen muscle and bone at least three days per week. And more daily physical activity provides greater health benefits. This information is from the Canadian Physical Activity Guidelines and Canadian Sedentary Behavior Guidelines. Let's talk about what we mean when we say intensity. Moderate intensity physical activities will cause teens to sweat a little bit and to breathe harder. Activities like skating and bike riding. Vigorous intensity physical activities will cause teens to sweat and be out of breath. These are activities like running and rollerblading. Ways to do this, you can walk or ride your bike. Join an organized sport. Put the video games away. Turn off the television, movies and computer. Go outside and play. Screens, when not being used for work or school, are a great big time stealer. Your screen time is less active or sedentary and gives you less time to juggle between school, activities, sports, leisure, and family. How many screens do you have in your home? How many minutes or hours do you spend on screens outside of school on average each day? Your physical activity time should exceed your screen time. Think about your own activity. What fun and energizing activities can you do instead of sitting in front of a screen too much? What do you already enjoy? What would you like to try? Do you get at least 60 minutes of moderate to vigorous physical activity every day? Do you do vigorous activity at least three days per week? 
How can you build more movement into your day? Healthy living is about finding balance and making small changes toward a healthier lifestyle. Another component of physical health and wellness is getting sufficient sleep. And this is an area where many people do not meet the standards or guidelines that they should. Teens need nine and a quarter hours of sleep on average to function at their best. The effects of sleep deprivation are many, including irritability, cognitive impairment, memory lapses or loss, impaired moral judgment, severe yawning, hallucinations, symptoms similar to ADHD, an impaired immune system, a risk of type 2 diabetes, increased heart rate variability, risk of heart disease, increased reaction time, decreased accuracy, tremors, aches. Other effects include growth suppression, risk of obesity, and decreased body temperature. Think about your own sleep patterns. Do you get enough sleep on a regular basis? Is this an area of physical wellness that you need to improve? Another component of physical health and wellness is staying tobacco free. Avoid participating in risky activities like smoking. Cigarettes contain more than 3,000 chemicals and increase your chances of getting lung cancer by 10 times. Know how to access accurate information for new and changing health issues. British Columbia has many health services and agencies that could be helpful for you or someone you know in the future. What services are available in your community? You can find help in the following places. Your school counselor, the yellow pages under health and welfare organizations, the blue pages under government. You can scan these listings and you'll find many services and agencies. Or online in your city or town website, there may be a link to public health services that contains a great deal of information. Remember, getting proper nutrition, regular exercise, and sufficient sleep while being tobacco-free and accessing accurate information for new and changing health issues will all help to ensure a healthier, happier you. So you can get an award for health and wellness. This is Margot Poro for the BC Learning Network.